Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here at Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be looking at just something we saw on the Facebook page, our Facebook group, where someone was asking if I have a set of plugins for ADR, and I've got a whole bunch of tracks of ADR and a whole bunch of tracks of on set dialogue, do I have to have ADR plugins on every one of those ADR tracks um, and then sum all that to the dialogue bus? They were they already know from the Cinema Sound Education, which we go into a ton of, about how to bus all of your dialogue into one bus so you can treat all of it, but what about getting all the ADR into a bus so that you can treat all of that and then to the dialogue bus? Well, that's exactly what I was talking about. And I just wanted to do a little video just to show you. It's very simple, but give you the idea here in Adobe Audition how to do it. Let's roll. All right, so we're here in Adobe Audition uh, with a uh, pilot for my series, Blade of Honor. I'll just kind of play a little bit of it here, go back to the mix. These are the dialogue channels. I've just chopped these up for fun, and then these are the ADR channels. When we should be fighting a war on offense. Oh, hey, sis. ADR. Hey, Haas. Commander Miralone. Alpha Commander. Dialogue. ADR. Jensen. Dialogue. We tried that. See where it got us? I'm the only good-looking male pilot in the fleet. Other ADR. You're the only male pilot in the fleet. ADR. How many turps did you... So you get, we're going back and forth in a scene between a whole bunch of stuff like this. So what we already have is, uh, well, actually, let's just set that up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So uh, how do we create the dialogue mix? Uh, bus in Audition. We're going to go multi-track, add, stereo bus track. And if you were in 5.1 or surround, you could do that easily. We're going to do this. We're going to call this dialogue bus, DX bus. I'm going to drag it all the way over here so it's out of the way. And then now that I've got that generated, I can go master, bus, dialogue bus. Each one of these then goes to the dialogue bus. Uh, once I have that happening, now on the dialogue bus, I can add EQ and all kinds of things to alter the dialogue if I choose. So now it's all going here. Well, we should be fighting a war See it show up here. Oh, hey, sis. Hey, Haas. Commander Miralone. Alpha Commander. I can add some high end. Jensen. We tried that. Make it super edgy. See where it got us? Take some edge I'm out. The good looking male pilot in the fleet. You're the only male pilot Add in the some fleet. lows. How many turps did you burn today, sir? Make it tubby. All right, this is just a silly example, but you get the idea. I can add compression. I can add all kinds of other things, which is what we want to add now specifically to the ADR. We want to be able to treat the ADR absolutely uh, independently from all the dialogue. And if all the ADR was recorded in the same studio, you could bunch the ADRs together, scene by scene, bus by bus, to be able to match the onset audio. So the next thing we need to do to be able to do this is create an ADR bus. We're going to do the same thing, add stereo bus. Again, if you were in surround, you would add a surround bus. And this is going to be ADR bus. I'm going to put this over here like this. Ooh, not that far. Hey, 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 come on over. There we go. And I'm just going to make these all the same color, so I've got some organization in the matter. Dialogue, ADR, and then ADR here. Unfortunately, in Audition, you can only do this one at a time, which if you've got hundreds of dialogue tracks, gives you a really good reason why you would have a template. And on, if you're a Cinema Sound uh, MZ Pro member, you get our massive mix template for Adobe Audition. All right, so now we're going to take the ADR tracks. We're going to assign them uh, buses to ADR bus and ADR bus. Now they're all coming here. Well, we should be Regular dialogue. On offense. Oh, hey, sis. Hey, Haas. ADR hey, goes to the ADR Perfect. bus. But right now, the ADR bus is going to the master, which we don't want. We want the ADR bus to be bundled with the dialogue bus so that every, because ADR is a part of dialogue, so whatever's happening to the dialogue, we want to also happen to the ADR. So now, ADR is coming here and then going to the, being processed on the dialogue bus and then going to the master output. This also gives us the ability to move the overall dialogue mix and, along with the ADR at the same time, which is cool. All right, so now that we have this bust, we can do what uh, the gentleman on our site was saying. We're going to go to the Aphex Vintage Exciter, which we have a video on how to do this, and adding this kind of really cool noise from the original Aphex Aural Exciter. Uh, let's see, input AU mix. We'll go like this, and let's see what happens now. Well, we should be fighting a war on offense. Oh, hey, sis. Hey, Haas. Commander Miralone. Alpha Commander. Jensen. You tried that. We'll go this. We'll add a See little low frequency. I'm the only good-looking male pilot in the fleet. 
You're the only male pilot in the fleet. And now we can add edge to the ADR if it sounds too clean, or we can do whatever we want. We can add more compression, a special EQ to just the ADR, and also have overall control over the ADR, which is super cool. In fact, we can turn this all the way up because we're in Adobe Audition and then take the mix dry down here of this effect and make it eh, a little less wet. There we go. Well, we should be fighting a war on offense. Oh, hey, sis. Hey, Haas. Commander Marilone. Alpha Commander. Jensen. We tried that. See where it got us? I'm the only good-looking male pilot in the fleet. You're the only male pilot in the fleet. And so we can balance that. Ideally, the plug-in would have it, but unfortunately, this one doesn't. But in this case, you have the ability to move that. So hopefully this helps you. Um, this was generated on the Facebook group, the Cinema Sound, uh, what is it, secret Facebook group, whatever. So definitely become a Cinema Sound member at cinemasound.com. And once you do, you'll be able to get the login information and the password to be able to ask questions and all kinds of things and get these things handled. We respond very, very fast to all of our members who ask questions there. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if it's for yourself.